relations between China and North Korea have been pretty chilly for a while now. So what do you make of the timing of this meeting and why all the secrecy? Well, like death and taxes, this day was bound to come. The reclusive anti-social North Korean leader showing up in Beijing. Over the past few years, various pundits have opined that China-North Korea relations are at an all-time low, and the evidence presented was the fact that President Xi had yet to host the North Korean leader in Beijing. Well, it took his father, Kim Jong-il, six years after coming into power to make his first visit to China, which was in late May 2000. Why did Kim Jong-il do that? because he had an important summit meeting coming up in two weeks with the South Korean leader. For the very same reason, Kim, the third that is, now after a banner ballistic year last year, he feels well positioned now to beckon to summon the leaders of the biggest powers and get them to pay up. The timing is perfect for Kim Jong-un to restore China back to its rightful seat in the region as the center of multilateral negotiations to patch things up with President Xi and be poised to dictate to South Korea and the United States the terms of the protracted negotiations to come. So when Kim Jong-un talks about denuclearization and says he is committed to it, does he actually mean the same thing as the United States? Absolutely not. North Korean officials will tell you occasionally what they mean by denuclearization of the Korean peninsula. Don't you find it odd that we never say denuclearization of North Korea? The express purpose of the six-party talks and multilateral negotiations always is the denuclearization of the Korean peninsula. In simple terms, in North Korea, that means dislodging the U.S. extended nuclear deterrence from South Korea and Japan. So how then do you rate the chances of success for any talks between Mr. Trump and uh, Mr. Kim? Well, the chances of success are very high, I would say, for Mr. Kim because he has everything to gain in flashing a smile, sending the first sister to South Korea, perhaps now even to the U.S., Russia. Why? because he will be able to buy time and money now with which to perfect his own nuclear posture review. As the dynamics change in the region from one of bluster to bonhomie, it will be exceedingly difficult for the Trump administration to strike a hardline pose, not to give concessions, not to relax sanctions, and not to be pulled into this never-ending, open-ended negotiations on the so-called objective of denuclearization. Sung Yun Lee, thank you very much indeed for joining me.